following segment is sponsored by Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Governor Cuomo recently announced the passage and implementation of the second stage of the Raise the Age law, a law designed to put New York on pace with other states regarding how it handles the prosecution of 16 and 17 year olds accused of criminal acts. Now here to help us explain this new law is managing attorney Paul Harding from the law firm of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Paul, welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So how was the prosecution of teenagers traditionally handled here in New York State? So we were down, I think it were two states, we were one of the two states left, That's right. 16 or 17, and it could be a misdemeanor or even really a violation. Here you are in criminal court, you're in open criminal court, and you'd have a record that would stick with you forever. If you were 13, 14, 15, and you had something very serious, mm -hmm. you too would be in the open criminal court where everyone else would be, resulting in really thousands of kids of high school age having criminal records. Now, so how does this law affect or really change the way minors will be treated in the judicial system? Yeah, we've caught up with the rest of the country, as I said. So now if you are 16 or 17 or 13, I guess, to 17, and you're charged with a misdemeanor, you're going to be in family court. And that's going to be something that's going to be protected. It's not going to be news. Uh, and ultimately, if you uh, have a more serious charge, you know, again, not every charge could be handled in family court, but mm -hmm. there's a family court section of county court. And at least isolates you from the general criminal justice system, which can have its own implications. Now, you kind of touched a little bit on it, but what exactly, what are some problems or really issues that this law is designed to really yeah. address? Keeping in mind, again, this is not a non-prosecution law, right? These, these, these children are being prosecuted. The question is, where are they being prosecuted? So they found that if they're part of the system, the chance of them maintaining a role in the system throughout their lives increased dramatically. Not to mention, if you have a criminal record at 16 or 17, and now you try to get a job at 28 or 38 mm -hmm. or 48, it would stick with you. So it really is a second chance, and it really is giving an opportunity for kids who may have just made a bad decision, right. you know, to kind of give them a chance as they progress in life and not be bogged down by what happened as a youth. Yeah, there are some other details with this law too, like if you're able to keep a clean record for a decade or so. Yeah, 10 years, it gets absolutely sealed. Uh, and so that is certainly the goal and of, this, of the program itself. All right, Paul, thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate it.